It takes a small battalion of volunteers armed with power tools and magical intentions to bring Eden, the conch playing troll, to life in Lincoln Park. I hope that when people see the trolls, they'll smile, and then I hope that they will look at it and think like, wow, could a bunch of volunteers and a semi-good artist really make all of that out of some junk here from Seattle? This is what Denmark's Thomas Dambo does for a living. He has built and hidden more than 120 giant trolls in 17 countries. Each one whimsical, magical, and with a message for people living on this planet. We should treasure it as the treasure that it is. And what better messenger than giant trolls? My mother, she would read me stories and sing me songs about trolls. And then I wanted to do like an epic big project where I could like involve thousands of people in building valuable things out of trash to educate and show the world that we shouldn't be drowning in trash. Though the heads and feet are carefully constructed in Thomas's workshop outside Copenhagen, everything else is built on the spot from recycled wood. John Halliday, a Duwamish artist who goes by the name Coyote, provided some extra embellishments out of cedar and abalone. Thomas is a very special person in that he deeply believes in saving our planet. And saving our planet is an important thing to the Muckleshoot Duwamish people as well. Eden is one of six Northwest trolls. There's Pia seeking peace on Bainbridge Island and in Portland. This beautiful beast here behind me is called Ole Bolle. A giant troll looking for something to eat underneath the roof of a house. I mean, for me, that's, that's the fun part, right? You get to tell stories and have fun with building. Thomas has already inspired waves of troll hunters to get out into the wilderness, protect natural spaces, and discover that in nature, there are no landfills. A lot of the things we think of as trash are just part of a cycle. So, no, we haven't seen the last of the trolls. It's all the things that I love the most. Building, dumpster diving, traveling, being in nature, and then achieving something with a big group of people. I mean, I love every part of what is so happening great. in that story, but yeah. especially how he doesn't consider himself a great artist. He's terrific. I'm curious, how long will they be there? Like, yeah. what happens next? Uh, all of the trolls will be in their location for at least three years, okay. and then it's up to each community to decide if the trolls get to stay there. So Ooh. they can, like, people will need to maintain them themselves. I guess so. I don't know, Kim. <laughs> does he look like a troll? Do I look like does a troll one maintainer? Story? I felt okay. like you were our troll correspondent now. Sorry. I do have this. more questions about trolls? I see at this point, if you are a troll hunter, you're interested in finding the trolls, they are in Portland, Bainbridge, Vashon, Issaquah, West Seattle, of course, and the last one was coming to Ballard soon. Ooh, 